Um, there's this woman by the name of Camilla Harris. She's black. And she, I have to tell you, she's one of the most dirty, evil, nasty, lack of moral character woman that you ever want to meet. And this woman wanted to be president. And you thought, you knew that Obama was bad? If this woman become president, find you a rock to hide behind because she has no limitation on being evil. Her, uh, she's a so-called Senator Camilla Harris, and this woman spoke at an event this weekend in uh, Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, to, um, to campaign for the 2020 presidential election. And this woman, uh, she used this as an opportunity to say, it is a fact that we can change human behavior without much change to our lifestyle. I don't know what she mean by that, but she's lying. She cannot change her own behavior. How is she going to change anyone else's behavior? And as far as lifestyle, I just, I guess, I don't know for sure, she must be referring to smoking pot because she said on a radio show that smoking pot just makes you feel good, and she did it. Isn't that amazing? This is on uh, Twitter slash The Heel. This is where we get this from. She also bashed the great white hope President Trump's administration saying we need a new president. It is a fact that we can change human behaviors without much change to our lifestyle and we can save the future generations of our country and this world. But there has been a failure to do that because this administration and the people who are a part of it are in the pockets of big oil and are denying what we know is a reality around greenhouse gas emissions and what we need to do to curb those, what we need to do to focus on the fact that water is a precious resource. And we can be smarter about policy that also is about creating jobs to invest in renewable energy. Some good work is happening in this state. Solar, Solar wind turbines, all of that. We need a new president. <laughs> Look how dumb the people are. Blind people standing behind the blind applauding her. Isn't that amazing? I want my country back, folks. What is going on? Camilla Harris also appeared in an interview a couple of weeks ago where she admitted to wanting to decriminalize sex work. She wanted to decriminalize sex work. So not only does she want pot to be all over the place, she also wants prostitutes, prostitutions to be all over the place. What is, why would you want this kind of person for, to run a Judeo-Christian nation? This is from the root. She admitted in the interview that prostitution should be decriminalized. She thinks uh, consenting adults should be free of criminalizing prostitution. Do you I mean, think yeah, that criminal, sex work criminal ought to be decriminalized? I think so. I do. I think that, you know, yes, we should really consider that we can't criminalize consensual behavior as long as no one is being harmed. But at the point that anyone's being harmed or exploited, then I think we have to, we have to understand that's a different matter. Now, do you believe me when I say that most black people are for everything that's evil? Most of them are, so I'm not surprised at this woman. Her father repudiated her when she said she wanted pot to be legalized. Remember? Uh, apparently, he's a pef, pef, so-called professor at one of the schools up north, Stanford University. Uh, she also believed that black people deserve reparations for slavery, Jim Crow, and segregation. What a liar. They, they ain't been enslaved. Why should they be rewarded? Back in the, I mean, no, here's that sound bite. Should black people get reparations? I think there has to be some form of reparations, and we can discuss what that is. But look, we're looking at more than 200 years of slavery. We're looking at almost 100 years of Jim Crow. We're looking at legalized segregation and, and, and in fact, segregation on so many levels that exist today. He's such a liar. Based on race. 
We're looking at legalized and segregation. There has not been any kind of intervention done. Well, one thing for sure, she's going to get the black boats because she promised them reparation, Jim Crow, segregation. She promised to reward them for all that. Even though it's not, uh, we already given black people everything they have asked for. We gave them the white schools. We gave them white neighborhoods. We gave them white government jobs. We've given them uh, welfare. They can now have babies. Out of wetlock, we take care of the babies. We've given them affirmative action. They don't need to qualify. We let them in the schools and in the jobs. What, the, what else do they want? Make me want to cuss. What else do they want? They want more free stuff. We gave them Obama phone. We even gave them Obama and Big Mama Michelle, the father Messiah and Big Mama. They're never going to stop begging, folks, until you say no more. Make them earn their way. It's like kids. When you allow your boys and girls to grow up and not working, they scheme and plan and take for the rest of your life. And if they can't do it from you, they'll take it from someone else. Harris also admitted that she's been for the legalization of marijuana since the beginning. You now support marijuana legalization, yeah. but you, back in 2014, you, you necessarily, your mind wasn't at that point yet. And I'm just curious as to what changed your mind. Well, I have always been in support of medical marijuana since the very beginning. In fact, I've, I've personally known people who were very sick and only benefited from its use. In terms of wholesale legalization of marijuana, I am in support of that. I believe that... We Getting this woman on my show, I would love to interview this liar. She's an evil woman, but unfortunately, she's going to be attracted to a lot of black people because she's evil and she's a liar and she wants free stuff for you. And she married a white man and she's very rich or something I heard. Isn't that right? Somebody else's husband? Oh, uh, yeah. A white husband. Somebody else. Though. He used to be uh, somebody else's husband, right? She just got married recently at 50. <laughs> at 50? She can't have no babies. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that's what... The Democrats, I wonder where the Democrats get all these evil, nasty women from. Where did they come from?